Okay, so I have seen very few tutorials about how to use the PyMongo driver for, for MongoDB, so I'm making a series of videos to show you how to do that. And um, okay, we're going to start. So uh, to show you, I'm going to first start uh, starting the MongoDB, all right? So go to your C file and there uh, just press there and you're going to find a set of uh, folders so the one that you want to get into is mongodb so go to mongodb cd mongodb set there now get into server know that you have to get into all these files in order to start mongodb um, so we're just going to go to bin and here we're going to find the executables so Let's go to mongod.x and this is going to start the MongoDB database. Uh, note that you should uh, start this in order to, to start working with MongoDB, otherwise you will not be able to work with the PyMongo uh, driver for MongoDB, okay? So in order to install PyMongo, just type a pip install PyMongo, all right? And that's going to install the PyMongo driver, uh, but I'm not running this because I already have it. So um, the first thing that you need to do is to do import pymongo and you're going to find that and from pymongo import everything all right now we're going to start a client so that's mongo client and uh, from there now that we have a client connected to to the, the mongodb i don't know if you have seen that it tells me that they have five connections open and before i had four um now I can start a database, the database that I want. So let's use dv that's equal to client dot and the name of the database that you want to enter. It can be anything. So for example, if you're using, um, if you plan on creating one that's named test, uh, just create it and you're going to have one that's going to be called test or another that's called YouTube. Uh, you're going to have now one that's called YouTube, but um, just choose any, any one that you want. Um, all right, so based on that, we're now able to add things to, to the database. So we do the dot insert one, we open the brackets, and in the brackets, we add the, f we add the fields that we, we want to enter for the database. So uh, suppose it's a simple database such as this, and we are adding two fields. Um, let's suppose my name and the university. So the database is going to give you a result on what you have done and we're going to see that just by placing R that's equal to that and it's going to tell you uh, this result object that has been uh, written to the database and now if we want to see what, what the database has uh, we go just um, we're going to iterate through the database with this command so let's use for each in dv.test.find and let's use print each Right, and now we should we just have um, the two the two fields that I have added and one that I have added uh, a long time ago. I forgot to remove this, but uh, as you have seen, uh, I have added two e two that are equal. So let's add another one. Um, I don't know. Let's add uh, another one with my second name. So Alejandro, and I don't know. I'm going to make up a university. So uni. Right, and now we're just gonna go here. Print each. And there you have it. Now you have added an, oh, come on, you have added a new field to, to the database. Okay, so I'm making this larger. Um, now, what else can I show you? Um, we know how to add new things to the database, how to print them, uh, and now it, it should be useful uh, to know how to update the data of of a field that we, that we already have. So uh, we're going to be using this variable to see if uh, the update is working properly and the update is done with this command. You just type dv dot the name of your database dot uh, update and from there you just use in brackets. Uh, you add brackets and then you specify um, for example name which is going to be uh, Rodrigo and what do we want to to update is uh, my university so uh, we add another couple of brackets separated by comma we add the dollar sign and we add set and based on set we're now able to uh, change a field that we want into the database so we open a new couple of brackets and based on that we just type the, the field of the 
the the data that we want to to um, update and I don't know um, we're going to be using this all right and so R tells me that it has been modified everything is okay and so we can continue and um, I'm going to show you what has happened so db.test.find and print each all right and now here the one the field that I have a uh, change has been updated one thing that you have to note whenever you are doing this kind of update is that uh, it's going to modify the first one it, it encounters so um, be sure to have uh, another field to specify whenever you are updating a field so instead of using the name which uh, a lot of people may coincide with the same may have the same name uh, just use this object ID or add any other uh, specific a specific, a specific information of the person so that you can uh, modify it and uh, don't have any trouble with that um, okay uh, and finally another command that I'm showing is uh, let's suppose that we want to find someone in specific so we just find a person and for that we're going to be using db.test.find and um, don't forget the brackets and there we're just going to be adding name which is equal to Rodrigo and uh, that's it we should find uh, uh, the first the first um, the first document that has uh, the name Rodrigo so for find per we're going to be using for each in find person print each and there it is it's going to find uh, uh, the two ones that, that we have added all right uh, not just one it's going to find two um, all, all the ones that, that um, fulfill the, the requisite that we have mentioned above so um, that's why I'm telling you to make sure to add um, a proper ID that identifies uh, each person uniquely uh, I mean that it's got only that name uh, so I guess that's it for for this video